Boy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Runway Dewar at chapters 106 through 113. And yes, we finally, finally, finally got more chapters of Runway Dewar at. And yes, it's in the form of a chapter dump, but it's better than freaking nothing. Um, but last chapter was some shady ass shit, but uh, the fashion industry, just like practically any other industry, is cutthroat, so. What do you expect? But uh, Mikudo is now the um, uh, chief designer. I'm really, really happy about this. Am, but um, it just sucks that you know it's at the expense of Michan, and it was kind of fucked up on how it was done. But at the same time, I kind of understand too, because let's be real, Mikudo wouldn't have accepted it any other way. Uh, so, let's get to chapter 106 first and see what's in store for us today. So, chapter 106 is titled Brand Name. You're novice's designer now? Yeah. Why are you restraining me? You're angry, aren't you? You think I'm a kid? <laughs> um, congrats on becoming a designer. That's really amazing. Thank you. Hey, hey, let's do a farewell party. It's the perfect occasion, right? Um, it occurs so we're all busy right now. Who's coming? Say I. I, 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 <laughs> What? Seriously? Everyone's coming? I'll make a reservation then. Hi, can I get a table for five? Oh, wait, make that six. The others couldn't come since they still have work to do. I expected as much. Oh. But Hayami-kun uh, took over my task for me. He said it'd be bad if everyone just ditched the farewell party. He just can't be honest. Uh, so anyway, do you have anything um, interesting to tell me? I don't. It, she asks me this question every week. Gossip, 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 gossip. Okay, looks like you want me to show you something interesting first. I'll cover up my ears. Since I'm not hearing anything, I'll say nothing. Okay, bam, check this out. Huh? These are the brands that'll take part in the joint exhibition. You heard me, didn't you, Ikudo-kun? Boss, boss. Oh, what a pain. I'll just go home. Hold it right there, Ozma. Bring me more booze. You're drinking under the table. She's literally drinking under the table. You're drinking with me. Um, I'm drinking too? How about we drink over there? Come on, you know it'll hurt my back. I wanted, I, um, I wanted Toe to succeed me. My back again, again with this. Um, I'll bring you more beer. That's what I raised him, him for. Damn it, Toe! Toe holds a deep kind of love toward the boss. More booze! Come on, didn't you say that Toe will be more successful if he's not with Afro? Yeah, that boy was just one big stupid copycat trying to imitate me. The conflict between doing what his grandmother really wants and doing what he wants was negatively impacting his work, I think. E yeah. That's why I fired him. Joe's designs for Afro just weren't interesting. They were just dull. Um, the future Toe envisions um, with his designs that uh, doesn't mesh with Afro. I hope that he succeeds. Otherwise, there'd be no point to me consoling the boss. Why do you have to quit, Toe? She's so troublesome. Why do you still have lingering att attachment, you stupid grandson? I am going to be in the exit. So, ah, so that's why. I knew there was ulterior motives. So why are you here today? I want to finish the work I have left at Hajime-san's um, Hajime branch. He wants his coat to be fluffy. Save the small talk for when we're at home. If you want a serious topic, I have one for you. I want you to let my brand take part in the joint exhibition. Sure. I'm surprised you just readily agreed. What reason do I have to refuse? It's not like I want you to cut all ties with Afro, but you need to change your name brand. I won't tolerate it if you don't. Okay, I'll think about it, so just put it down as a tentative name. Ugh. Send me a new brand name already. Yeah, it's killing her. You can tell. Yep, Ikuda Sumura is now novice's chief. Um, Shar, you want, um, went to see Figure's, uh, capsule collection, right? Figure? Um, an Afro-sub brand. What? 
Do you want to know what I think? Yeah. Damn, I thought I was getting some. Toe is getting some, I should say. Let's see. It was very exciting and beautiful. I didn't even see it, though. I was on the second floor totally absorbed in my phone. What do you think? Do I get a perfect score for that answer? Yeah, I guess. You just uh, wasted 20 seconds. I can't believe you think about other people while you're in my presence. Toe, put me in a good mood, will you? I feel like I might end up hating you. I love you. <laughs> All right, I love you dearly, too. As long as you can make clothes that'll excite me, that is. Oh, what a bitch. If Akuto is Novice's chief designer now, my grandmother must have seen something good in him through this capsule collection. The first outfit, Akuto probably added his own personal touches to it. Oh, Yanagi. Hmm. I don't care if Yanagita saw it. Yay, Yanagita said something. I don't care if you get um, get the wrong idea. Um, but uh, but to put it simply, I just preferred Samura's version. Grandmother's designs just aren't any fun. <gasps> Ayano-san is also taking part in the joint exhibition? Yes, he is! <laughs> Gonna be so good. So now we're at chapter 107, which is titled, I Doubt It. Ayano-san will be there too? Hmm, he sure looks like he's about to say I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll be leaving! <laughs> Tell me something interesting. I'm not gonna let you get away every time. Hold on a second. I might not have tea. I got coke. Zero, that is. Let's leave out what happened after. What? We ain't getting any tea. Lame. Um, let's leave what ha um, out what happened after that. Um, lame. I'll sit right here. Uh, no, no, you're the chief. I need to sit at the chief's desk. Um, Sak uh, Sakama-san, just sit right there. Go ahead. Um, you should sit over there. Um, we're happy to have you as, as chief. We didn't like that she was our chief, you see. Oh, right in front of her? That is shade. Uh, and that is fucked up, too. But you know what? At least she's saying it to her face now, but... Yeah, no one wants to be near her, right? Please don't say th these awful things. It is I, Hanoka! Yay! Um... Ikuto Samura, I heard he became a designer, which means that I'm the superior pattern maker. It's Hanoka-kun. You've come again? It's not like I want to be here. I don't want any woman near me. So, anyway, Ikuto Samura, you're not fit to be the chief. I'll support Lady Sakuma all the way. I really need to do something about my relationship with Sakuma-san. He's not even- she, he, Who doesn't give a fuck about your ass? Hey, you are- Hey, you, are you listening to me? It's okay, Hanoka-kun. Now, hush, please, you're embarrassing me. Sakuma-san, I want to talk about the branch's future plans. Come on, you can just make all the decisions. This is supposed to be a discussion. I want you to take part in it, too. Aww. Why are you- Why are you here, too, Anoka-san? Like, what the fuck? What's he doing here? Naturally, the pattern maker's rep representative needs to be present at any meeting, uh, meetings. That representative is me, of course. Anoka-san is probably- <laughs> Toilet ball, isn't he? Won't people get angry? Oh well, <laughs> it's just a <laughs> fucking Anoka, you fucking ass. Um, I guess I'll give you the rundown on our current progress. It's August now, so we have two months until the show, and about half of our half of the designs are done. Can I see them? Since we're a bit behind schedule, let's use uh, this finished design as, as the base. This one and these ones too. I've seen all of these designs before. The collection probably won't be well received. Uh, why don't we start over? I don't think we can use these designs as they are. I've come up with some concepts. Please have a look. It'd be better if our clothes have more ideas and new elements. Um, don't be so hasty, uh, Ikuto Samura. You're a newbie brat, and you want to get results as soon as possible? I get that. But I'm against this. If we fall behind schedule, it will lower our product's quality. I think it's fine. The chief's opinion is important, after all. Yeah, Hanoka. What the is your who the fuck asked you nobody asked you for your opinion 
drinking beer anyway. It's his first time doing this, so we should be respectful. Sakuma-san, can you please cut that out? I want to be the chief designer. That's why I can't give up on certain things. But I want to work together with you. I said it's fine. Really, I mean it. If you lie, you'll be punished. It's a game I made. Um, if you lie, you do. You have to do what's written on the paper you draw from the box as punishment. Can you be the judge, um, Hanoka-san? Sure. Okay, maybe it is good that he's here. Um, all right, please uh, have a look at my concepts. T uh, Tomura-kun, did you come up with both the concepts and the game? Uh, we can't have a proper discussion otherwise. The goal is to detect lies, huh? And he gave me that that role as expected of my rival. I'll carry out this role uh, to the best of my ability. What do you think? I doubt it. I objected to this before, yet you're bringing it up again? I mean, you never intended to listen to other people's opinions. All right, draw. You're getting punished. What the fuck is... Th you know what? Fuck you, I... I, I I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Fuck you. Get the hell out of this discussion. Say meow at the end of every sentence. I want to know what you think, Sakuma-san. Meow. Please. Meow. Tomura-kun came up with this this punishment himself. That's cute. I doubt that. I bet you don't really care about others, pe other people's opinion. Tomura-kun came up with three concepts. The first one is a, a novel masculine outfit for the ladies. Ooh, the direction of the jacket's uh, body is flipped, making it a gender neutral, uh, ge uh, gender neutral jacket. The goal is to create a handsome ladies' outfit. I like that jacket. I doubt it. Punishment make a, a funny, a funny face. <laughs> I love this face. Fuck this asshole. Get him out of here. He is not unbiased. He's being a biased fucking prick. Get him out. The second concept is colorful fashion. The main aim is to create a new mode um, where black and white aren't used. I don't... You know what? I don't know how I... Here's the thing. I can't wear something like that because that would make me look extremely pregnant. And I do not want to look pregnant. But if... It's because I have boobs. If you're flat-chested, you could get away with where, or not fl just flat-chested. If you have, like, if maybe at the most a B, maybe C cup, you could get away with wearing something like that. I can't. I can't wear that. But the other thing that I'm just kind of met on, I don't like the color choice, the, how the color, the color choicing. Don't, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical on that. Um, also, I hate, hate, hate collars like that. I fucking hate it. And yet, if the collar's white like I think it is, I think it'll help balance out, balance that out. But God, I hate collars. I fucking hate them. I doubt it. What? Again? The third concept is one size fits all. A new, ooh, a new kind of clothing with no specific size that can be worn by anyone. Okay, now this I like. This is good. This is very innovative. If I talk, you'll just doubt me. Ha, ah, same yeah, too. For these clothes, he took current society and how to set trends into consideration. They're all filled with ideas. This isn't working out, Hananoka-san. You're so useless, meow. You call, you need to call Sakuma-san out when she lies, too, meow. What? Are you saying I get nervous around women? Yes. I'll do it. I just can't come up with all these ideas. He's so amazing. I did it out that. Ikuto Samura is not amazing at all, huh? I'm not lying. I really think that Tomura Kun's designs are, um, uh, Tomura Kun's designs and concepts are amazing. I agree. I love the designs and the concepts. I just question the second one's, um, how the second one's color is. I don't, I'm not feeling the color idea. It just, ugh. It's very, very circusy. At least to me. Could, and maybe a little too gay pride-ish. But, that's just my opinion. I think it's fine. The chief's opinion is important, after all. If you lie, you'll be punished. But I don't think they'll, um, they're in line with novice's goal. Uh, for novice, the most um, important thing is clothes that will sell right now. Sell well right now. Um, it's supposed to sell affordable and current um, clothes to young people. I think, uh, but here's the thing. I think that gender, um, that gender neutral um, coat, that will sell well, period. That will sell well. The um, the second look, I think, would sell well with young people. I do. The third one is the one that would be tricky. I'm not sure about the, the third one selling well. 
But the first two, they would sell well with young people, period. So we can't really sell unconventional clothes. Yes, you can! You can sell unconventional clothes! Young people love that shit! What the hell are you talking about? But it seems like you want to create new clothes, uh, new modes with your clothes. Uh, they're the kind of clothes you want to sell in the future, not right now. Use baby talk when you're speaking. I'm still doing the novice boy and she needs this mode thingy. Ikuto Sumura, um, Ikuto uh, Sumura, you've got questionable and repulsive taste. That's not true. It's just when I found, uh, what I found when I looked at punishments on my phone. Oh, little Kisi Tomoroka wants to make me go meow meow wah wah. No, I don't. I'm just happy that I've, uh, finally been able to see you act like your usual self. Goo goo. <laughs> True that I didn't take novice's concept into consideration, but I still think we need to add something new to our clothes. I'll be brainstorming ideas tomorrow as well, so I'd like you to come up with some ideas too. Conventional clothes that also break new ground, huh? Gaga! <laughs> Please stop doing that! Can I really come up with anything? I like that. Uh, like, I really love that what this, what this manga is doing. It's talking about being innovative with fashion, because that's what fashion is. Um, but I disagree with, with what they were saying. I think the first two would sell right now. I really do. The third one, um, for young people, I mean. The third one, maybe. But the, uh, the first two, definitely. I'm telling you, we don't, uh, um... I'm telling you we don't have, and now we're to chapter 108, by the way. I'm telling you we don't have the time to remake them. Just give me one more day. I'll come up with something. Um, chapter 108 is titled All About Me, Sakuma. And why the fuck are you listening to this asshole? Why aren't you talking to the one that's like, a, uh, why aren't you talking to the chief patterner? Not this fuck who's at like the bottom of the pole. I don't think we can use these uh, designs as they are. Are they really that bad? Originally, novice's theme for the season is unisex, which, yeah. It's what's popular right now. It's perfect for novice since uh, it's commercially viable as something geared towards young people. Let's ask for feedback. What do you think about the next collection, Unisex? It's not exactly the most original proposal for Afro. It's commercially viable, but there's nothing interesting about it. Oh, I see. Can I consult you again in scent? I've got to come up with something, too. Ooh, the clothes can't just sell well. They have to break new ground, too. Ugh, these designs aren't any different from the previous ones. I can, I can do this. I can do this. Let's take a, br let's take a break. I don't have any confidence in my ideas. I started my own company when I was 17. My father said he'd give me money as long as I give it my all. Let's go with these five pairs. That's what she should be focusing on. I want to, like, because something that we've seen before in shows like Project Runway is we've seen like a challenge where the designers um, are inspired by like a pair of shoes, um, you know, to come up with an outfit designed by, uh, by inspired by a pair of shoes. That's what I would love to see here. Like where me uses her strength, shoes, and Ikudo get inspired by the shoes themselves. That I think would be a smart idea. Um, I designed my shoes, mass produced them, and sold them online. It was just another regular shoe brand. My debut season went pretty well. I was bitten the um, uh, I was oh, God, I love this ship. Um, I was a bit in the red, but I think I worked pretty hard considering I've never done this before. I'm just going to give it my all. Said Hajime Kun's reply was that was just an emoji. I'll work harder. I'll work even harder for the next season. My second season, let's do this. It was a big failure and left me deep in the red. I'll send him a message once everything is going smoothly. I think it was from that moment on that I stopped being able to draw designs. I kept worrying about how I had to make my had to make better shoes, and then I just came to a standstill. Um, two years then passed. Me, if your heart is no longer in it, you should get a proper job. That's sad. When you, when you lose inspiration like that, when you lose, like, passion, it's really hard. It was a shock to me. I wasn't slacking off or anything. My heart is still very much in it. I'll try my best in my own way. I can't send this message to Hajime Kun and bother him. And my dad thinks that my heart is no longer in it. It's probably because I wasn't giving my all. No, it's because you lost your inspiration. You lost your way. And I really feel like if she sent, if she would have, you know, went to Hajime about it, would have been different. Then for my next venture, I'll be sure to give it my all. 
My debut collection for Aphrodite caused unpre oh, unprecedented financial losses. I was shocked that I failed so spectacular spectacularly. I'll give it my all next time. I have to try my best next time. But what hit me even harder next time for sure was the fact that I couldn't give my all the next time either. I knew it. I can't try anything. I wonder if I'm just incapable of putting effort into anything I do. Um, let's just go home for the day, or maybe I just lack any talent whatsoever. I just don't know. Please, Hajime Khan, tell me the answer. Hmm. It's cold. Hajime Khan? Oh, Hajime Khan. <laughs> Close that brand new ground, and we'll also sell well right now. Let's give it one more shot. Okay, I'll present my idea now. What I've come up with is uh, big tags. Um, I want to attach a big tag to every item. Um, clothes with big logos are popular, you see. Young people want to have brand name products too. I don't have confidence in my ideas, so uh, we can make the tag the uh, tags themselves fashionable because I can't. Look, that's true. You could do that, but hmm. I like the idea, but I, I feel like they should do something more creative with it. At least my opinion. Uh, because I can't exactly claim I gave my all for, uh, wait. So, uh, we can make the tags themselves, uh, fashionable. Um, because I can't claim I gave my, um, my all for anything. Big, big tags, huh? That's not exactly, uh, new. This idea was unveiled by some other brand half a year ago. Talent and results, uh are things that I don't need yet. I just want to give it my all. I want to give my all. Afro clothes can serve as a status symbol among young people, see? I, I, I know what she's doing. I want to give my all. I think it'll probably, um, it'll be well received for sure. Um, I, I want to give my all for real. I want to try making a bag. Tomra-kun, that's how it should be. I, I agree with that. Something, something like a la Coach, Michael Kors, Prada, that uh, Louis Vuitton, yeah. Um, but yeah, this concept that she's talking about is very. We've seen this before. It's nothing new. Um, sure, uh, that's how it should be. Sure is amazing. He has his goal and concept figured out. It solves our schedule issues too, and above all else, it fits not as his goal to target young people, but it is also innovative. Let's do this then. You know what I would love to see with this tag concept, based on the tag itself? That tag right there would be so perfect as like a messenger bag. And um, if you want to go like the bohemian route, you could have like beads and shit come out, come off of it. Like there's so much, you, or and you could do like, a, do it in cloth and have the beads. You could have it in leather. I, I would love to see like a line of, um, uh, Oh my god, not messenger rags, wordings, holy shit. I mean, um, crossover bags. That's the one I'm looking for, wording, um, I was looking for, not messenger, crossover bags. That would be, like, such a good idea, because you could do, you could do it in leather, you could do it in, um, cloth, you could do it in, um, you could do it, like, in just about any kind of fabric, and it would work, and it would look so cool. That, I would love to see it, and, and I'm just talking about, like, the tag itself. Please do that. Um, and you could do it in um, one color. You could do it in several colors. Um, you could do it like in patterns. There's so much you could do with it. You're okay with it too? Yeah, that's right. Oh, got an agreement. All right, let's get to chapter 109. For those of you that haven't followed me long enough, yes, I love, love my high-end brands. I am a total, total, um... A total high-end whore. I love my Michael Kors especially. Um, Betsy Johnson was the first brand that I really got into back in like 2000. Well, Betsy Johnson and Ed Hardy were the first two brands I got into like in 2008, 2009-ish. And then it was Michael Kors right after that. And now I have my, got my mom into wearing Michael Kors. And my whole fa actually, my, uh, my whole family wears Michael Kors because of me. It's crazy. Um, 
Um, but anyway, so chapter 109 is titled Co-Star. And, yeah, and Juicy Couture as well. I got my, I got my mom wearing Juicy Couture. I know, right? It's, it, it's insane. My, my mama, my mom stole my style. She even likes skulls now because of me. Ugh. I know I, should, I, I, it's like, I have to question if I should be flattered or freaked out or, or annoyed or scared. But anyway, chapter 109 is titled Co-Star. Uh, if we're going with this concept, um, then I'd like to discuss something. What do you think about participating in Tokyo Girls Collection? Ooh, I'm here today for a gig that I got, um, thanks to being officially chosen to perform at Tokyo Girls Collection. Um, I'm Chiki Fujito. Yeah, we got Chiki ch uh, chapter. Uh, from uh, Meal Ninja, I look forward to working with all of you. It's a variety show where a newbie model is supposed to learn about the art of modeling from a top model. Phew, don't get cold feet. Be resolute to be powerful. Sarson is the starting point. Sorry, I'm, do I'm going to do your makeup first. Um, Sarson is the starting point of my walk. Morning, and she'll be my co star. Morning. Hey, sit down. You'll be the makeup artist. Uh, you'll make. Uh, hey, sit down. You'll make the makeup artist's uh, job harder. Right, Sarah? Yeah. It's okay. I'll do it myself. Doing makeup for a guy isn't that fun anyway. And there's the stylist, uh, Tarumi Kaji. Uh, Kaji-san, I'm Minami uh, Hana from Dash Pro. I'm Kao Yamada from Windstar. I'll just forget your name, so don't bother, so don't bother to do uh, yourselves. Is he that big of a deal? Kaji, I feel like I've heard that name before. Sarasan, um, please go to the meeting. What, uh, what will you do, Kachi-san? A meeting? I'll pass. <laughs> okay, sir. But I wanted to ask Sarasan about uh, TGC. Um, how's Kokoro-chan uh, doing as a designer? I heard she, I heard uh, she quit modeling. Who knows? I haven't heard a word from her. Oh, shoot! I might have looked a bit annoyed. Uh, Kokoro, as in Kokoro Hasegawa, she quit modeling. Uh, they're all going on and on about Kokoro this, Kokoro that. What a shame. I wanted to invite her to TGC. What? He's ta taking part in TGC too? And he gets to make casting choices. How should I handle this? I want to know more about TGC. Have models like us ever gotten to um, invite a brand they want to wear to TGC? Damn it. That was no way to bring up a topic. I just brought out the thing I wanted to ask Sarasan. Is there a brand you want to invite? Yeah, it's sort of a high fashion brand though. I probably shouldn't mention Afro. I think Sarah probably can, but you? Not a chance. How can I tell who can and who can't? Simple. If I remember the model's name, she can invite a brand. Well, either way, inviting a high fashion brand won't be easy. TGC is different from Paris or Tokyo Fashion Week. Aside from models, singers, entertainers, and so on will also be on the stage. To amuse the visitors who, um, who've paid to go see the event, it's very much an entertainment event. So a lot of people are there for the celebrities rather than the clothes. For high fashion brands that want to show off their clothes, there's just nothing to gain from participating in Girls Collection. Thank you for telling me. We're going to start filming. She asked whether a model can invite a brand. We've got ourselves a one bad-mannered girl. Hmm. Hey, at least she made herself memorable. Um, but... Here's the thing, though. If I, I kind of agree and disagree with what they're saying um first of all any publicity is great publicity but the other thing is is that if this is entertainment this is uh, you can also make the argument with like especially performers and stuff like that it's still art you still have art going on and high fashion um is still art it is art and um Look at Lady, Lady Gaga is the best example of this. That's the first one that comes to mind. Look at Lady Gaga's outfits. Lady Gaga's outfits are pure high fashion couture art. And I would love, love to see more um, artists wear, uh, more singers wear like couture, more art, especially stuff that they, well, obviously stuff that they can move in because when you're performing, it is, when you're a singer or an actress on a stage, um, it is still art. It is. And seeing, like, gorgeous clothes to match that makes it, e like, enhances the performance even more. At least in my opinion. But that's just me. That's, this is just someone that appreciates art. But I guess I'm not like, um, but I'm not like normies. 
Normies are uncultured swine that don't... Uh, majority of normies are uncultured swine that don't appreciate art. At least in my opinion. Smiling matters a, um, a lot for girls' collections. So this is like commercial. The co uh, the, uh, obviously this is commercial. Uh, the cold and sullen face uh, you use for a brand's, a brand's fashion show is a big no-no. Not all, not all f um, fashion shows have that cold, sullen face, though. No. Um, I, I, it all depends on the brand. Like for Betsy Johnson, for example. Betsy Johnson is fun, bright, colorful, and sometimes attitude. So, yeah, it all depends on the brand. Oh, but it's it's okay when you want to give off a cool vibe, so use it if the situation calls for it. Sarchan, do an example walk. Ooh, those shoes are cute. Ooh, okay, let's take a look at that outfit there. Ugh, more flowy tops. I can't wear those. Those tops look bad on me. Those kinds of tops, unless they're, like, fitted right, they usually look bad on me because I'm busted. What I mean by busted is I'm big busted. Um, so that kind of stuff makes me look fat. But those other outfits back there... I think what I think one of those girls has a camel toe. I, am I the only one that's noticing a camel toe? There is a major camel toe. This um on one of them girls. There is. There's some camel toeage going on. Uh, she does have a nice vibe going on. I do like this walk though. I could like I get the thing that's nice about manga. Um is like is and I know a lot of people, I know you guys are thinking, Packer Girl, how the fuck can you tell that she has a nice walk? It's because of the movement of the art. Um, with the slime work, you can feel, see the flow and the lightness. So, yeah, I could tell she has a good walk. I do like those pants, though. Those pants are cute. Um, okay, I want to see all of you walk. Let's start with Chiyuki. I should assume that I'm just a nobody to everyone here. I think Sara probably can, but you, not a chance. I don't know who that guy is. How can I tell who can and who can't? But I'm going to make him remember my name today. Here we go. Woo! Oh, look at that. I love this. As Chiyuki's walking. Love, love, love the brightness. Love the aura. Because it shows how gorge... She, first of all, Chiyuki is, and also how fantastic this walk is that she's doing. And also, that ass is looking good. I really want to see the front of this outfit, but the back of this outfit is looking really gorge. And I, unless I, I have boob tape, based on what I'm seeing, I, I don't think I can wear this outfit either. Everyone's just like, damn. Sorry, but, uh, Ch uh Chiyuki Fujito. Chiyuki, sorry, Chiyuki Fujito? I'll be, it'll be hard to tell the difference between you and Sarah, so can you walk with a bit more restraint? Ooh! How tall is she? 158 centimeters? She's shorter than I thought. She'll draw attention if she's in the center, so let's have her be at the end. Oh! When you close out a show! When you close out a show, that means you're good. You're a star. When you open or close a show, runway-wise, that means you're good. That is... Especially when, uh, when you're uh, the closer, that says a lot because that's the grand finale. Because that means you're wearing like the final piece, the showstopper. And I, oh man, this is a lot. What was her name again? Chiyuki Pajito. Oh, I love this outfit. And oh, is she? Dude, Chiyuki was the one with the camel toe earlier. Okay, she don't have camel toe now, but she had some serious camel toe earlier. But man, this panel. Woo, this panel is looking fierce. This is some gorge and fierceness here. Look at that. Oh, look at that glow. This is art right here. This is art up in here. This is some gorge. 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 Listen, you don't need to hold yourself back. I have no problem with it. 
Good. Good to know because I don't plan to. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry if this video is going to be longer than I thought it was going to, but man, art is really good. Uh, art is savage and gorgeous this week, um, in this manga. I love this manga. I forgot how gorgeous it is. Anyway, chapter 110 is titled Stylus. Once in a while, you might but find someone. Okay, cut. Um, who possesses a unique vibe about her. That je ne sais quoi, if you will. All right, all right, I need the newbie models to leave. We're going to start filming the next segment. Okay, Kaji-san, if you don't mind. Um, Shuki-chan, I need you to come with me. That's it for the filming. Thank you for your work, everyone. Sara, why don't you go grab something to eat later? Um, or sorry, we're already shit. Sara, why don't we go grab something to eat later? I don't think she's in a good mood, producer. Yeah, not when there's a newbie who's full of herself. Um, she totally ignored my instruction to walk with restraint. She's as hard to work with as it gets. Still, she was quite the unusual model. She was the shortest, yet she stood out a lot. And I don't mean that in a bad way. So what, what she, she did is she walked as if she was like six foot tall. Ugh, I got scolded big time. Holding back against Sarasad? Yeah, no way, I'll get obliterated, but... It wasn't bad at all. I was more or less able to understand what Sarasan was thinking while she was walking. My walk isn't all that different from Sarasan's. Um. Oh crap! Wait, why am I hiding? I'm going to have dinner with her. Do you want to come too? Um. Just who is this guy? If only I saw that uh, segment they recorded after we switched. Sure. Um. Wait, Sara, you're going to have dinner with your clients later. Just turn them down. Um. A dinner with Tarumi is more important to me. We can't just do that. Tarumi, 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 Kaji. Come on, don't make trouble for your manager. Let's eat together some other time. Tarumi Kaji, by the way, it's been confirmed that Charlotte Carey will also perform at uh, Tokyo Girls Collection. She's a VIP model, which requires uh, someone with the right qualifications to be in charge. Um, that's where I come in. Tarumi Kaji um, is the top stylist in Asia. Holy shit, I'll be in charge of a special collection. High-level stylists aren't just responsible for the styling of clothes. They also serve as the brand's advisors and directly assist with the clothes production. Woo! They also coordinate the look and feel of promotional photos, videos, and fashion shows. That's why they can be the source of um, new fashions. People say that the unisex fashion that's popular right now is one of the fashions um, Chirumi helps spread. Uh, both Tarumi Kaji and Charlotte Carey are, uh, are going to take part in TGC? What's going on here? Shoot, now I'm in a really bad mood. Oh, you're still here, Chiyuki? I got chewed out for a while. <laughs> huh? Did he s just say that? Uh, my name? May I join you for dinner? I have to close the distance and make sure you won't forget my name. Good girl. Um, my friend wants to discuss something over dinner today. Um, I, I did it! drinks have you had? This is my first yeah, uh, first one. Why is Chiki chan here though? So you know her. She's quite popular among young people lately. You didn't know who she was? Shush, you boom, shush, you boom monster. <laughs> Did you know that she's an H cup? Wah! Nice to meet you. I'm Miss Sakuma, 22 years old. My job is something apparel related, kind of. I'm Shinki Fujito, a model from the Meal Niche Agency. So what do you want to discuss? Well, the thing I want to consult you about is already resolved. You see, my sub-brand's objective has changed. Right now, we're planning to bring a new mode to young people, and to do that, uh, we'll be making a bag. A bag that brings a new mode? Her sub-brand, and she wants to make a new mode? Um, does that mean a, it's a high fashion brand? Right now, um, things like logo t-shirts and fast fashion brands are all the rage among young people. They all want to um, own the same thing, things as everyone else. That's what I think. Um, for a Japanese person, there's a sense of security about owning something many people have. It's the same thing in America, too, let's be real, and the West in general. Many Japanese also tend to keep in step with people around them, but that's changing. Japan is becoming more westernized thanks to the Internet's influence. Because of that, the um, unisex trend, LGBT, etc. What makes you unique is now more valued than ever before. I'm so happy about that. I am. I'm very happy about this. It's 
not that way in um right now in the west it's complicated i'm going to talk about i'm actually going to talk about it um in my french world expo video because there was a really interesting panel about like the cultural shit that's going on and the differences between um the um the culture in Japan compared to what um, what's going on in Japan compared to what's happening in America right now. So I'm going to save that thought for later. So make sure you check that out. Uh, that's why we want to make something that's similar yet also distinctly unique. Uh, we thought a bag would uh, be most suitable for our goal. Um, we'll make various uh, parts which users can combine. Ooh, I like this idea! Which users can combine to create their own unique bag. Yes! Yes, by changing the parts, users can change the bag's look to make to suit their mood and clothes of the day. Me, you shouldn't talk too much about this when other people can hear you, or someone will steal this idea. I see. I've been making predictions about what the next trend will be. Some refinement is needed, but the main idea, similar yet also distinctly unique. I like this idea a lot. It's such a brilliant idea that I thought I might have come up with. I knew it. I wasn't wrong when I thought that was that it was a good idea. But the designer who came up with this is worried that it might not sell well in its current state. Looks like she forgot uh, he told her not to talk uh, too much about this. She's kind of an airhead, huh? Yeah, I have the same concern. That designer has good sense. Do you, um, wouldn't this bag be better if it was a bit more like this? Hmm, let's see what Chiyuki's going to be talking about in Chapter 111, which is titled D uh, TGC. This part should be like this. No, something's not right. I feel like it's not really a problem with the design. A bag with swappable parts. It's a bag with swappable parts. Um, you're going to make various parts like lids and straps and I can create uh, the bag that fits my preferences, right? I'm not sure I'd want to buy it. It'd be misleading if I say I don't want it. But even if you can swap the parts with no issue, their, si the, their size will still be big. And they will t um, they'll take up space. It'll probably be expensive, too. In which case, I'd rather buy some other bag. I think young people would prefer something cheaper. Yep. Cheaper? Cheaper. It needs to be a bit cheaper. Tomura Ken said the same thing during his presentation. That's why it needs to be... Never mind, a model like me isn't supposed to interfere with the design process. Please forget if I've ever said anything. You were correct, though. Yeah, I totally agree with you, too. Wow. I, really? I think I might have a knack for this stuff. Come on, tell us. You've definitely hit upon uh, something good. What? Um, I think this isn't something I should, should meddle with, but still, I want you to listen to me. I'll listen. Okay, I'll listen first. If, it, um, if it's something irrelevant, I'll tell you. You'll tell me the irrelevant stuff? Uh, she's so lovely. Come on, Chiyuki. Instead of swappable parts, I think we should go with decorations. Yeah! People can attach them to the bag using magnets or hook, um, hook and loop fasteners and decorate it however they want. Hmm, I only managed to hear a few bits. Uh, ration, um, tape? It'd be better if it, it's that inexpensive. This girl. Um, that way. I heard just a little of the last part. What does that mean? I can't say this for sure, so that means that it's on point? Tell me, I'm afraid, um, not sorry. Please! <sighs> First of all, instead of swappable parts, I got to hear some nice ideas, I'll message tamara -kun. A model like me isn't supposed to interfere with the design process. I probably should, shouldn't interfere either, huh? I made up my mind to support tamara -kun after all. And tamara -kun is capable, if he's still stuck tomorrow, I'll tell him. Sakama-san, um, I want to talk about the collection. Uh, can we go to the conference room? Sure, I'll be right there. First of all, instead of swappable parts, we use we'll use decorations. There will be a standard bag, and you can put various decorations on it. That's how you make something that's similar yet unique, as well as re um, reasonably priced and appealing to young people. I made a sample, and I'd like you to have a look. If you can sell it that sell it um, the right way, everything will probably go well. Yes, I like this. And then you could like have um. You could put, if you like, have like charms and stuff like that, especially for weebs like us, weebs slash otakus like us, then you could, then you, then you got our community. <laughs> I just kind of cobbled it together with test fabric and cardboard. What do you think? Selling each part would be too cumbersome, so instead I want to use things like stickers and badges. Tomokun came up uh, with the idea approved by Terumi-san. 
All by himself, yeah, to decorate the bag. It's be it'd be better if that um, if it's that inexpensive that way. I really want to sell this. I want to sell something like a good like this and do it right. Tomarkan, about the TGC thing. Oh, you don't need to worry about it anymore. After Hanaoka kun and you told me that uh, what you both think, I asked various people about it. TGC, huh? The customer base is different from that of a high fashion brand, so I don't think there's any point. Why TGC? Don't ask me stupid questions. It doesn't benefit Afro in any way, so I've always steered clear of it. Um. If it'll only be a detour, that way, um, I won't take part in TGC. That, uh, the bag, uh, will be popular with TGC's target audience, I think. Why not? Let's showcase this at TGC! I've made up my mind to support Tamara Khan. Uh, Chiyuki, 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 this must be her. She has 200,000 followers. I think we should go with decorations. That's not a lot. That girl should be able uh, to get uh, ten times as many followers before long. Yeah! So now we're at chapter 112, which is titled Personal Feelings and Detours. Let's go to TGC! What's going on here? Weren't you against it when I first told you about TGC? Uh-oh. Oh, right, that. I've done some research and as it turns out, it's just perfect for novices' target age group. Do you think I'm saying something weird? No, but is this really okay? TGC and Fashion Week are two different things, so we'll have to make uh, changes to our collection. Huh? For real? They might be hosted at the same time, but TGC showcases fall winter clothes that will go on sale shortly after, whereas Tokyo Fashion Week uh, showcases spring summer clothes that will be sold uh, half a year later. There's a six month gap! I forgot all about it! We should try to negotiate. I haven't talked to the CEO about this either. Oh, uh, Hanoko Ken will uh, be, he uh, be here later, so you can show the sample. Can't so, um,. Uh, can you show the sample back to him? Where is Ikudo, um, Ikudo Sumura? Is it okay for a novice to take part in TGC? Why? Novice's target audience is young girls, which is similar to, uh, TGC's. What's the matter, Hanoka kun Um, well, uh, let's talk in the hallway. A man and lady shouldn't be by themselves in a closed room. That's such a hassle. We can just talk here. No, we can't! I see. I get what you're trying to say. Ikudo... Do your personal feelings have to do with this? Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't make such a proposal. Do you think that a cl top classical music ensemble from B Berlin would perform at, say, an open-air rock festival? Suppose that, that they do, would they be able to make the festival goers excited and bring them to Berlin? Depends. The audiences may be similar, but the genres are completely different. I, I wanted to see if I could make a bag, so I gave it a try, but it's pretty hard. It's just so different from making clothes. Clothes are fluid, while a bag is more solid. It's no exaggeration to say that the process to make them are um, as different as day and night. Why is he saying stuff that should be obvious? Um, like, I can make shoes, but I can't make clothes at all. But if I get serious, this will be nothing more than child's play. I simply can't approve of you doing a show at TGC. There's a, there's a little to gain for a high fashion brand. Then, Ikudo, you're trying to get results you want as soon as possible, aren't you? I can't afford to waste any time on detours. I should focus entirely on the bag's collection right now. Well, if that's what the boss said, then there's nothing we can do. Uh, let's just give up. I talked to Hanoka kun Um, we decided to ask an expert. Sakama-san? Oh, sorry, we'll ask an expert to help with the bag. I'll talk to the boss about this. All the people employed by Afro to make bags are busy right now, so we might have to cut it close, apparently. I see, if we don't make some kind of progress, we'll be in trouble. Home sweet gnome. There's Chiyuki-chan. She's in, in the corner, and you can barely see her. She's the only one who looks tiny. I feel bad for her. I saw the show. You were lovely, Terumi-san. Thank you. Mwah. Was it okay to get Chiyuki-chan so little screen time? Is it because she's short? Chiyuki-chan is cute, but she's not exactly cut out to be a show model due to her height. I kind of feel an affinity with her. The bag will be popular with TGC's target audience, I think. I thought it was a fine idea. Shuki had such a powerful aura that Sar can stand out, so they had her stand at the end. Oh! Shuki chan is amazing, too. Let's do a bit more research about TGC. It's my audience, um, Tokyo Girls Collection is an event where you can meet celebrities and have fun. Audience, mostly teenage girls, um, and 20-something women, uh, some men also attend it, too, attend it. 
Um, Chidi Chan isn't exactly cut out to be a show model due to her height. Uh, she was um, uh, among the, the top 50 in a poll held by girls I aspire to be, a modeling magazine popular with middle and uh, high school students. She's been getting a lot of attention as a fashion model. The, um, the mall, Chiki Fujita, was featured in a cover story for the women's fa women's fashion magazine, uh, Mom, which went on sale on the 16th. She was also on the magazine's cover. Um, Chiki had such a powerful aura, they had her stand at the end. She might be short, but she's putting in a lot of effort, um, for sure. I should have asked for her contact info. I'd love to talk to her again. What can I do right now? Tomura-kun is coming up with all of the designs and ideas. I can't make, really make anything either. To do something, anything, make fucking shoes that will like inspire the design. If you can, if um, I know she's had uh, stuff, but if you can sell it uh, the right way, everything will probably go well. Here we go. So now let's get to the final chapter of this live reaction, chapter 113, which is tell negotiation. I'm going to negotiate with my son. Uh, whoa, whoa, um, pick them up for me. Um, how Aphrodite, uh, can, uh, get young customers' loyalty? Thanks. I'm going to tell my son, um, that we want to take part in TGC. Yee. Not as targets people in their late teens and 20-somethings. This collection will have a bag as the main item, which users can use in various, uh, situations, and they can put together outfits without breaking the bank. Sorry, me. If this is about TGC, I'll listen while I work. Go on. I'll respond if you have a good proposal. I've done a lot of research. Af um, Afro uh, ID um, targets well off, uh, well off people um, who can spend a lot of money on clothes, so the young people that novice want, um, wants don't have a lot of attachment to it. We need to get young people to develop a sense of familiar, uh, familiarity with novice. Young people are more familiar with influencers, so they are more influenced by them than fashion pros, which is true. That's why this is great for the for the um, for Afro. There are per models, TV personalities, bloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, and so on. A lot of these uh, people will be um, at TGC. So if we participate in it, in it, we should be able to expand Afro's customer base. The reason we're a high fashion brand is because our customers associate it with status. Pandering is something you can't do. If if you pander to others, it will damage the brand's status. Not in this day and age. And you won't um, make a profit. Bullshit. Tarumi Kachi promised me that our products can be part of a special collection. He said that he'd all, always welcome a, a variety with open arms. Also, Charlotte, Carey, and Sarah will take um, well, part in TGC this year. The world famous stylist Tarumi Kachi will also be there. I think it would be really wonderful if um, a variety also pr presents its products there. Tomarkun said that we um, have to solve our schedule issues. Um, normally, TGC would present uh, clothes people can uh, buy that uh, buy right away. That's because young people love to be able to buy immediately buy the clothes the models wear on the stage. Um, the Fashion Week um, uh, shows that we do, on the other hand, present clothes that will be uh, the trend half a year later. Um, we can um, uh, let's see. We then spread the word about them to our customers using media like magazines. But social media is a thing now, and there are also influencers. You don't need to have a year to bring new fashions to people. So, um, so a high fashion brand should also sell its new clothes immediately instead of waiting half a year, right? We can treat TGC and Fashion Week um, as the same thing. This is so true. We'll speed up distribution and sell our clothes right after the show. I want to skip the scene um, now, buy now approach a shot. Woo! I already, appro I already proposed a way to sell it, but... Hey, Bob Cup, what's going on with Novice? Wait, sakama son is in the CEO's office, uh, right, right now? Uh, why? Um, what are you doing right now? We've decided on, uh, what direction to take our, um, uh, take, so our next step is designing and production. Huh? What's the matter? We're currently, um, rivals, so I can't reveal the details. You know every damn thing about my branch, though, don't you? Yeah, you're right. Um, we've been having trouble because the method of making it is so different from what we're used to. Oh, I'm talking about a bag. I have no idea. Um, what me is trying to accomplish. But whatever you do, it'll be easier if you have the actual product on hand, so hurry up and make it. Um, was our figure branch, uh, uh, too lenient with you, or what? I already proposed everything I could come up with. It was probably all for nothing. What do you think, boss? But if I give up now, I'll once again, um, what does it mean to give your all? Just what does it mean? 
Please, someone, just tell me what giving your all is, uh, is about. Have I been giving my all? I want to know what it means. Um, I just want to, I, I just, I want to sell this bag no matter what. L let, so let's go, uh, let us go to TGC. I don't have any idea, um, uh, idea how I can give my all. Boss, if someone, anyone, please tell me what to do. If my branch goes into the red, you can fire me. So please, how can I be someone who, um, uh, who uh, can give her all? Why do so many people want to quit this year? Me, Avra wasn't the only one taking part in Tarumi Kaji's show, is it? Right? Tarumi san is in charge of styling, so other high fashion brands will also be a part of it. You know what that means, don't you? Only one to three Afro outfits will be part of the collection, so, uh, 40 probably. Since TGC's audience isn't familiar with high fashion brands, there's a chance we won't get any attention. You won't be able to get much publicity, but the Cena buy strategy seems like an interesting idea. You couldn't have come up with this strategy without doing a lot of research and analysis, but will it work out? Our production lines um, are already at full capacity. They won't be able to handle it if, um, handle it if you want to put your produ products on sale right now. I'll figure something out. What about distribution then? I'll do something about it. Me? You really gave it your all. Feel free to take part in TGC, but simply taking part in Tarumi Kaji's show isn't enough. You haven't done anything to gain publicity. Listen to me, I want you to come up with a plan and carry it out. You're going to, uh, you're going to find a way to sell this collection. Yes! I'm so fucking happy with this. I love the direction this manga is going in. This is fabulous. I love that what Romy Dvorak is doing is talking about what's um the transition from just like fashion shows um to uh the fashion show approach to what's happening now with influencers and stuff like that because i've noticed that it's the same thing with modeling now it's because uh, um apparently with modeling agencies now um a lot of them won't hire models unless they have a big social media following now so it's really interesting to see how much of a, an effect um social media has on the fashion industry. I really love it. Um, anyway, remember, I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, Runway Dwarak content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!